We use uh, a number of different technologies in order to uh, provide uh, customers with the ability to visualize uh, their digital twin. Now, the most obvious of these, uh, it would be a 3D visualization where I have taken all the different versions of all the different geometries of all the different parts, and I've assembled them together in a way that is going to represent what we believe uh, the geometry of that digital twin should look like at this point in time. But that's not the only way to visualize that data. It's also important to visualize, for example, the, a, just a, a breakdown, uh, a hierarchical breakdown of all the components, all the subsystems, including their serial numbers, when they were installed. You can also visualize it using what we would call a graph visualization, uh, where I can start with a physical component and around it I see all the things that are related to that physical component, including things like nonconformance reports or uh, problem reports, uh, the original design, the original requirements, uh, the manufacturing build information, test information. By using graph visualization, we can see all the data that is related to it in one place. Uh, collaboration between uh, between different people in different parts of the product lifecycle is, um, to me, almost nirvana. It's the holy grail here that you know, the technician that's performing maintenance uh, can actually give feedback to one, the person who authored the maintenance procedure, two, the people who manufactured the product, and three, the people who designed the product, to give that feedback, direct feedback through collaboration.